not all smooth sailing for Trek with Elisa Balsamo disqualified. It came through. No one was really surprised. When I was watching, she had this puncture. The peloton was hammering it. It was middle of these cobbled sections. She had the puncture and then she was back three seconds behind the peloton. I swear like three minutes later. Whereas Van Dyke had taken ages to return. Cavalli took ages to return. I was like, how has she made it back so quickly to the peloton? Well, the answer was we saw two things. First of all, there's sticky bottles and then there's literally holding the car for over five seconds and we saw her hold the sticky bottle and they were going past other riders like three times the speed. So usually the sticky bottle, if you do it that long and the comma says see it, you're going to get done and DSQ'd. And then also she was drafting behind the track car for a long time, right behind it. And this wasn't when they were in the convoy, so it was behind. So that's the Niels Eckhoff 2019 World Champs DSQ, uh, or what he did and got disqualified for. So, I mean, unlucky she had the puncture, Benji, but the sticky bottle was what for me flipped it to like she had to go for that. Yeah, certainly. I think someone on Twitter said it was 12 seconds in total. I didn't calculate it myself, but 12 second sticky bottles are pretty damn long. And yes, every team tries to slip in some sticky bottles when riders are behind, but when you do it for 12 seconds and get caught for it, then it's your own damn fault. But then the question arises, is it Balsamo's fault for having that sticky bottle happen or do you consider DDS, which I would argue has more of a responsibility as the real perpetrator of this? Villainous act in the race, a 12 second sticky bottle, because that DS should know the rules better as a X rider. I think it is Teutenberg in the in the car for Trek. On paper, I'd say the DS has more of a responsibility. Do you agree? I don't know. Who has to withdraw it? Does the director have to withdraw it or the rider let go? Probably the rider let go. The thing is, Benji, what's the downside? If she doesn't do the sticky bottle plus the car, she doesn't make it back. And so you just be like, okay. 50% chance we get disqualified here and which is the same outcome as if we don't do it she never makes it back so would she not because she was pretty far back three minutes after the DQ was announced she was at the back of the group and I was like okay she returned so I'm thinking perhaps it was not necessarily that far behind that the sticky bottle happened and it's not really possible to know how close it was but I dare to say that she probably could have had a chance of coming back. Well, I don't know. It like she literally was holding the bottle flying past other eyes like fifty five Ks an hour next to the car. And then she was right behind the car on the cobbles drafting. I don't know. Like that's the trade off that teams make for Eckhoff as well. It's like he probably wouldn't have come back without it. Um I still am fifty fifty about I've waxed and waned about this for a couple of years about why can you draft a car on the convoy but you can't draft a car after a mechanical or a puncture or a crash when the car's behind the convoy uh i guess because it can go faster than the group ahead so it brings you back so that's the reason why but yeah fair enough that she was disqualified um Sometimes wearing the world champs bands is a curse. I think this is definitely one of those occasions because you're always going to have a camera on you. And yep. we see, I see stuff like this happens all the time and doesn't get punished, maybe not the sticky. As well as sponsoring LRCP and Paru Bay Femme avec Zwift. Zwift are also the title sponsor of Tour de France Femme for the next four years. Today marks 100 days until the start of Tour de France Femme avec Zwift and Zwift and us are calling on fans to watch the fam as the women's peloton takes on the TDF for the first time in decades. You may have seen that campaign rolled out across social media in the last few days. 